Hey, Pilar. Hi, TC. How are you? Oh, lonely. <laughs> Luis is out of town, and Teresa and Miguel are away on the ski trip. Yeah, Whitney and Simone went too. You know, the house seems so empty and quiet. Yeah, but still, it gives you and Eve some time to yourselves. Yeah, but you know I'm worried about her. She just needs to slow down and just relax. I mean, she's running herself ragged. Have you seen her lately? Come to think of it, no, I haven't. You know, I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm blowing all this out of proportion. But Eve doesn't seem herself lately. I mean, something's on her mind. I think I know what it is. It's that bird statue. If Ivy were to see the pictures that Orville hid inside this, oh, she would just see those photos of me and Julian. No, oh, she can't. She can't. Yes, to whom am I speaking? Ah, Detective Richard. This is Ivy Crane. I would like to report a theft. It's a bird statue. The person who stole it. Uh, I'm sorry, officer. My wife's made a mistake. That's right, there's been no theft. Well, thank you. What do you think you're doing? Are you mad if you completely snap? Do you realize what this could do to our family? <sighs> Ethan's sisters have such good taste in clothes, don't you think? I know. But when you're on a first-name basis with every fashion designer in New York, it's hard not to have good taste. <laughs> you really look great, with. No, you look great. You look like a runway model. <laughs> Buonasera, signorina. Grazie, signore. Ah, la signorina parla italiano molto bene. No, but I can fake it a little. Hey, uh, uh, uh Rivadurci Roma. <laughs> Whereas Mario over here obviously can't. Well, fake, uh, Mio? No, no, no. Uh, 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 uh rigatoni mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Which, unfortunately, is not on our menu tonight. Uh, what? La musica is. The, uh, no one can fake the universal language. Ah, lingua universal. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tonight, uh, me and Luigi will uh, play uh, the songs of uh, lovers everywhere. Signorina Teresa, tonight, I hope the song I sing myself will make you believe in yourself and the lover you deserve. Chad, you have to stop this. Huh? The more Therese is with Ethan, the harder it's going to be for her to forget him, okay? Hey, look, I ain't got no say in this. And nobody does. Look, love is like out there all on its own. And there ain't nothing nobody can do to stop it. Sure, then it's all right. Hey, everything's going to be okay. What the hell when they're still out there? No. They're gone. What if they come back? I mean, they want me dead. They want to kill me. They won't. Look, I'm getting the police on this. Interpol's already trying to track down John Luke's drug partners. It's only a matter of time before they bag him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have acted like such a coward. What are you talking about? You were anything but a coward. I mean, look at the way you handled those goons. You know, you hung tough when they wanted... Murder me. Oh, acting like such a baby. Oh, Sheridan. Yeah. Hey, you're just having a delayed reaction to all of it. Get you some ice for your cold. No, don't don't worry about it. I, I can just ring the maid and have her bring it up. Okay. So uh, you don't have to hang around. You want me to go? Well, you were just being a cop before. And Officer Lopez Fitzgerald to the rescue. Even though you weren't on duty. Yeah. What was that supposed to mean? Well, it means that 
it's done. I'm, I'm rescued. You don't owe me anything. Do you? I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet statue. Yeah, Simone had this bird statue and she thought there was something inside. She couldn't get it open. I tried. I couldn't get it open. So she threw the thing in the trash. But then it's gone? Well, unfortunately, my wife thought that I wanted the damn thing. So she went to the dump and tried to retrieve it. Really? Hey, mm. Coach Russell, um, I found Dr. Russell's book by the phone. By the phone? Yeah. And uh, this newspaper clipping was also with it. Thanks. See, Pilar, this is exactly what I'm talking about. She's been so distracted that she left this by the phone. What is this? Looking for an interesting bird statue will pay top dollar. There's a phone number here. You know what? I bet you Eve called this phone number trying to get this bird statue. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Um, I'll see you later, okay? Good night. You will never do that to me again. Do you hear me? Never do what again? Snatch the phone out of my hand when I am speaking on it. I don't know what you're getting so exercised about. I mean, just because you lost one of your bird knickknacks. One of the maids probably walked off with it. Oh, one of the maids? Really, Julian? Mm, there's no reason to get the police involved. The last thing we need is for Louise Lopez Fitzgerald to start sniffing around the mansion using some silly investigation as carte blanche to probe into her life. Well, if you're finished with your lame protestations, Julian, I was merely trying to report the loss of something you've been trying to find. I? No games, Julian. I know that you and Eve have been looking for a certain bird statue. I even know you looked for it in the city dump. What on earth? Oh, please. You just wasted your time, Julian. I had the bird statue right here in my hands. But then your lover stole it back. Oh, yes. The wonderful Dr. Russell grabbed the bird statue and flew from my house. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about what makes your blood run cold, Julian. Whatever is concealed in that bird statue, proof that you had an affair with Eve. Oh, when the media gets a hold of that, they'll splash it in the newspapers and magazines. I can just see Alistair's face as he watches it play out on the evening news. You are being ridiculous. Really? He'll probably jump Ethan right over you. And name him heir. You know what they say about never bluff a bluffer? You keep tossing out these little hints about what you know, but if you had any real proof about anything, you'd be screaming it from the rooftops, not trying to trick me into some sort of admission that proof actually existed. But we both know it exists, Julie. Give it up, Ivy. You'll never get anything on me. <laughs> you actually think you've won. Hmm. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Right. Yeah, I always have. I always will. I'll call down for the ice. I, I can make my own calls. Thank you very you much. You are not going anywhere except back on the couch. Don't tell me what to do! Would you stop being so pig-headed? You can't put weight on your ankle, so you gotta stay off of it. I'll stand if I want to. Back on the couch. No! You're not making this very easy. What are you doing? What oh. do you think I'm doing? Put me down! Yes, ma'am. Oh! 
Who do you think you are? Officer Lopez Fitzgerald, at your service. Do you think you can go around and just do anything you please? No. You know, this little routine might work back in harmony. But when you have your tin star and your smoky the bear... Oh! Oh! Room service, I'd like a bucket of ice, please. A large bucket? Thanks. It's a good arm. Oh, how dare you! Dare what? Try and save you? Oh, you were such a male shit. Yeah, but you know what? If you'd have listened to me in the first place, you wouldn't have almost gotten yourself and me killed. Oh, so what? Now it's my fault? Who else is? I suppose you expect me to be grateful to you now. You know, why did you even come back here? You know, I'm partially responsible for uh, what's happening with them tonight. What do you mean? Well, you know, Ethan was talking about how he uh, wanted to help Teresa get over her boyfriend and start dating again, so I told him to pay attention to her. Pay attention? To Teresa. Yeah, you know, help her get her self-confidence back. How could you do that? I told you, Teresa's phantom boyfriend really is Ethan, okay? The only thing that's going to happen tonight is that Teresa's going to get her heart broken again. Thanks to you. Thank you so much. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's not going to happen. See, I got a good look at Ethan when he saw Teresa in that dress. I'm telling you, the man was weak in the knees. No, no, you're crazy. I mean, Ethan loves Gwen. They're getting married. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the night is young. And hey, there's one thing Italians know about. It's amore. The champagne, signorina? Ginger ale, but tonight we pretend, see? Si, grazie. Mario, asti spumante. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, Sfila Ren! <laughs> I, Luigi, make you this promise. Tonight, I make you forget you ever loved this fool who didn't love you back. He's not a fool. Anyway, I don't think it's possible that I could ever forget. Tonight, anything is possible. Crazy, but it has to be done. I went out for ice cream. Love you, TC. What are you thinking of coming here? Where's TC? He's out, but he'll be back in a minute. Ivy told me you stole the bird statue. What? I said, Julian, I said my husband will be right back. I didn't even know she had it. Get out, Julian! How could this happen? I found the bum. I paid him to tell me who he sold the statue to. He showed me an advertisement with a phone number. I called the phone number, and it turned out to be Ivy. Yes, I was right. Ivy's been desperate to come up with something to hold over my head. Well, if she'd found those photos, she would have had something to hold over both our heads. Bite your tongue. My whole family would have been destroyed. She isn't going to find it. No one is, because we are going to destroy it right now. I couldn't open it. TC couldn't either. You just didn't say the secret words, now did you? Open sesame. My son isn't about to take over the business, not until I'm in my grave. I don't plan on being dead for quite a long time. You want to know why I came back? No. Nope. What you just said. I don't care about what you have to say. Well, since you're a captive audience, you get to hear it anyway. Even though you didn't believe me, I had a gut feeling that you were in trouble. That uh, one of the drug lords Jean-Luc was involved with might come back to hurt you. Now, I told the local police, but they didn't believe me. Now, this one cop, he even said... <laughs> he even said that I wanted to find you because... <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> he said I wanted to find you because I was in love with you. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I told him it was ridiculous. Love had nothing to do with it. The 
French think everything is about love. You know, remember the accordion player and the flower seller? Right. Well, anyway, when I realized I couldn't convince the gendarmes, I figured I might as well fly home. So I went to the airport. I got on the plane, and I started talking to the stewardess, and that's when I realized that I couldn't shake this feeling that you were in trouble. You talked to a stewardess about me? Yeah. What'd she say? <laughs> she said I must have been in love with you. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if she had known both of us, then she'd know that was impossible. Right. That's exactly what I told her. Anyway, I realized that I couldn't fly home until I knew for sure that you were all right. So I came back to the hotel. The maid mentioned that you'd been stung by a bee. That you had some bleeding on your ear. When I saw the bullet hole and found the bullet, I knew you hadn't been stung by a bee. You'd been shot. Oh my God. John Luke's bodies were probably on a rooftop across the way. What's the thought of somebody being a gun at me? I didn't know where you were, but I knew my gut was right. I knew I had to find you. You know, I've heard about people being so connected that they know when the other person is in danger. But for you to have that gut feeling about me, Damn thing made of kryptonite? Just hurry, Julian. <laughs> and if I can't crack the damn thing open with this, then no one else could either. No, Eve. Ivy didn't see those photos. She was bluffing. Oh, thank God no one saw those photos. Yes. My life as I knew in love it would be over. TC would probably do me in with this... Poker. Well, what should I do with the statue? I just get rid of it. Incinerate the damn thing. I don't want it to ever resurface again. Although I would have enjoyed having another look at those photos. You and I could have uh, lived old times together. No, Julian. Eve. You're so sedate these days. I remember when you used to singe me with your heat. You seared me. You remember? Just stay away from me, Julian. Ooh, as you well know, I'm always up at playing games. Watch this one. Poker, poker, who's got the poker? Oh my god, that's TC. Eve, is that you? That feeling I had it was it was it was just a cop in me. So you'd have that same gut feeling for anyone. For Mademoiselle Sheridan. The ice, I almost forgot. Thanks. Merci. This should help. How does that feel? Fine. I gotta go anyway. Oh? Yep. Gotta go over to the police station, file a report. I wanna go with you. You can't. You gotta stay here in Ice Ankle. Look, I'll have hotel security post a guard outside the door. No, no, no. I'm going with you. I can, I can ice it on the way. Get real, Sheridan. He's not here because of you. It's the cop in him. You'd have that gut feeling about anybody. Never had gut feelings like that about anyone else. Why her? Be honest with yourself, Louise. It wasn't just because you're a cop, was it? I need my bag.
sex. Yeah. Look about that gut feeling. You know, I could just kill Chad for putting Ethan up to this. Up to what? Playing Cupid. Trying to push you and Ethan together like that. No matter what he does, it's not going to work. Ethan is not interested in me. Not the way I want him to be. Not romantically. He loves Gwen. But I just want to have fun tonight. It'll be another memory for those long, cold nights ahead without Ethan in my life. What about you and Chad? Nothing about me and Chad. He doesn't mean a thing to me, okay? I could never go for a guy that conceited, first of all. You know, he actually thinks something happened between us up here. I mean, can you believe that? It's... Yeah. No. You are so wrong, okay? And so is he. And now, straight from the glittering lights of the Vegas Strip, we have the one, the only, the king! Such a lovely, lovely lady All the boys can see You're a precious, dreamy princess Who's always spilling goo on me Yeah, me Oh, you're the boop 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 brown eyed beauty Every boy's dream So sweet and such a cutie with boys like a queen There's only one little flaw As far as I can see Everything that you hold You always seem to spill On me On me The brown eyes so warm and tender Silky hair soft as the breeze Gonna make some boys surrender Just don't walk too close to me Yeah, me Oh, you're worth a million diamonds More beautiful than love in bloom And every time you're close to me I reach out, I reach out, I reach out, I reach out and boom oh. oh, you're the b -b 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 brown eyed beauty Every boy's dream So sweet and such a cutie When boy is like a queen There's only one little flow As far as I can see Everything that you hold You always seem to spill Tell me, yeah, me. Baby, don't be spilling on the Elvis. Yeah! Oh, cool! <laughs> Who wants the king? Yeah! 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 You didn't like it? I loved it. <laughs> All this. <laughs> I had no idea that, that you could do the king. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> kind of kept it a secret. Doesn't quite fit the image of a crane or a corporate attorney. Gwen doesn't know? Mm, no. And I wasn't sure I could pull it off. A lot of inhibitions, I guess. But uh, impersonating Talia and Waiter kind of loosened me up. You were wonderful. Teresa, I wanted to do something special for you. To help you realize that you still have a lot of love inside you to give to someone. Someone who truly deserves you. I don't know what to say. I only hope I reach that deep well of love inside you. 
more than you could ever know. I'm glad. Now, I want something from you. Sweetheart, I'll be there as soon as I put the ice cream away. Get out, Julian. You have to get out. You just get rid of that damn bird. Destroy it. I never want to lay eyes on it again. Well, I see you got the bird statue back. Oh, TC. And I know how you tracked it down. You do? Yes. And I've had it. I'm tired of you lying to me. What I was saying about my gut feeling was... Uh, yes? Well... Well, I must be made if I forgot something. Bodies are back. Call security. The phone line's dead. Sitting ducks here. Those goons are going to blast and through here at any minute. There's only one thing to do. If you think I'm giving up, then forget what it. What do you think about giving up? Doing a little rock climbing. Come on. Go, go. There's nothing I can give you, Ethan. No way I can repay you for this wonderful night. That's where you're wrong. The time has come, Teresa Lopez of Gerald, for you to pay for your supper. Your mother has told me on several occasions that you have a beautiful voice. You know how moms exaggerate. <laughs> uh, she was very matter-of-fact about it. Come on, Teresa. Hey, when the king says you sing, you got to sing. I'm not prepared. I, I don't have any music. But... Are you kidding? Hey, Mario the Music Man is on the job. Uh, ah. Where's the one? Do you know it, Teresa? Yeah. It's usually sung as a duet. Hey, there's no problem. Ethan can sing it with you. You know, I really don't think that's such a great idea. <laughs> Let me close my eyes Let me see Give me hope tonight Give me me Touch my heart, I cry And I Explain, TC. How much did it cost you? Cost? You called the ad. Ad? The newspaper ad that you left at the book cafe, right next to your date book. Oh. You tracked the statue to whomever the bum had sold it to. I know money exchanged hands somewhere. Well, it's not a lot. Sweetheart, didn't I tell you to drop this whole thing? Yeah. But did you listen to me? No. You lied. Instead, you've been running around all over town trying to get this thing for me when you should have been at home resting while the girls were away. And it's my fault. Yours? No. Sweetheart, I should have put my foot down a long time ago on this. You know, this bird statue, it means nothing to me. It's, it's a zero. 
I'll get rid of it, honey. And then I'll be right upstairs. No, sweetheart, I'll get rid of it. You go to bed. Honey, it's real. It's no trouble. I... Sweetheart, go get up under the covers, and I will take care of it. You're going to put it in the fire, right? Absolutely. You know, old birdie, you're toast. But you know, it would have been satisfying to find out how to open you. Maybe I'll give it one more shot. Eve stole the bird statue? Yes, the woman you thought was so wonderful, so dedicated. is just a common thief. No. Hmm. Well, Eve was clearly worried I would find something in that bird. I refuse to believe she had an affair with Mr. Crane. Yes, well, you've always been a very trusting woman, Pilar. I, on the other hand... There must be some other reason why she took the bird. She's not redecorating. Maybe she's protecting somebody else. Who? I don't know. Well, whatever the reason, the bird is gone. And good riddance. I was afraid for you, Mrs. Crane. Afraid of what you could lose after Mr. Crane warned you not to look for it. Do you really think that this is a lose-lose situation for me? <laughs> for so many people. If the statue has anything incriminating in it, Dr. Russell will know what to do so it can't hurt anyone. It's best if secrets are just kept in the past. Well, I couldn't agree more. Really? I didn't think you'd take the loss of the statue so well. I cannot get the door opened. We must break him down. Sheridan and that American cop cannot get away. One way we're getting out of here alive. What? Come on. We're on the seventh floor. Tell me about it. Come in through the window and the maid wouldn't let me in. Isn't there another way? No. no. We're wasting time. Gotta get to the balcony of another room. Can you make it with your ankle? Yeah, I can make it. Go look down. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. All right. Let me go over the sledge here. Slow and easy. Slow and... Oh. I said don't look down. Come on, Sheridan. Take my hand. Take my hand. But... Come on, Sheridan. Come on. Not here. Damn it. song, Chad. Oh, come on, Whitney. Look, if you don't do it, I will. Look, a song can't hold people together, okay? Only love can do that. This isn't love. Well, why don't we let Ethan and Teresa figure that out for themselves, all right? And if they discover that they're really in love, then they're going to make their music of their own. That's just something you're going to have to learn about love. I think you know everything. I don't know. But I do know love. I see. You had a plan, Mrs. Crane. You were going to use the bird against Dr. Russell, blackmailing her into helping you win Sam back. So? So you've lost the statue and you're not upset. I don't understand. Oh, well, Pilar, you know, you win some, you lose some. I guess I'm just going to have to leave it up to fate. 
Oh. Well, oh, Pilar, I thought you left ages ago. I needed to speak to Mrs. Crane about something. Anything I can help you with? No, thank you. It's all been straightened out. I'll say goodnight, then. I'll see you in the morning, Pilar. Good night, Pilar. <clears throat> Why is this man smiling? I have been looking forward to a snifter of hundred-year-old cognac all day. Oh, well, pour me one of those, then, too, please. I feel like celebrating. Oh, yes, exactly. What are you celebrating, dear? My future. I've just been reading my horse. It's fascinating, really. Listen to this. The stars all align in your favor. All obstacles will be overcome. What you seek, you shall find. <sighs> Horoscopes. You don't believe in them? Less than I do the tooth fairy. Well, here, maybe this will change your mind, okay? Well, spare me. No, 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 wait. Listen, this is yours. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. Well, partner, I'm stumped, and you're firewood. <laughs> well, look at that. But see, we were all trying too hard to get you open. Just a little trick mechanism. <laughs> Should have been looking for that from the beginning. Great, Sheridan. Leave me. Won't let you fall. Yeah, to Paris, Sheridan. Yeah,